Hey there, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Self-Help Champion. I'm Susie, and today we're diving into a fascinating topic that combines psychology, neuroscience, and personal growth. We're going to explore how to stay untriggered when dealing with narcissists, and we'll look at what's actually happening in our brains during these challenging interactions. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey of understanding and empowerment that could change the way you navigate difficult relationships. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only and isn't a substitute for professional help. If you're in an abusive situation, please reach out to a qualified mental health professional or local support services. The Narcissist's Trigger Effect. Imagine this. You're having a conversation with someone, and suddenly, out of nowhere, they say something that makes your blood boil. Your heart races, your palms get sweaty, and you feel an overwhelming urge to defend yourself or lash out. If this sounds familiar, especially when dealing with a particular person in your life, you might be experiencing the triggering effect of a narcissist. Today, we're going to break down why this happens, what's going on in your brain, and most importantly, how you can stay calm and collected even in the face of provocative behavior. The Triggering Nature of Narcissists, a Neurological Perspective. Let's start by understanding why narcissists are so good at pushing our buttons. It's not just their behavior that's triggering, it's how that behavior interacts with our brain's threat detection system. You see, our brains are hardwired to detect threats, and narcissistic behavior often registers as a social threat. When we encounter a narcissist's provocative behavior, whether it's their outrageous accusations, expert opinions on everything, simmering contempt, or inability to handle differences, our amygdala, the brain's emotional center, goes into overdrive. This triggers the release of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, preparing our body for a fight-or-flight response. At the same time, the prefrontal cortex, responsible for rational thinking and decision-making, can become less active. This is why we often find ourselves reacting emotionally, rather than responding thoughtfully when triggered by a narcissist. The Pitfalls of Emotion Over Mind A Neurochemical Trap when we respond to narcissists with pure emotion, we're essentially playing into their hands. But why is this so difficult to avoid? The answer lies in our brain chemistry. Emotional reactions trigger the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with reward and pleasure. Believe it or not, even negative interactions can lead to a dopamine release, creating a kind of addictive cycle. This is particularly problematic when dealing with narcissists because their behavior is designed to elicit strong emotional responses. By reacting emotionally, we're not only giving them the attention they crave, but also potentially reinforcing our own unhealthy patterns of interaction. The power of mind over emotion, rewiring your brain's response. Now, here's where things get really interesting. While our initial reactions to narcissistic behavior might seem automatic, we actually have the power to change them. This is where the concept of neuroplasticity comes in, our brain's ability to form new neural connections and rewire itself based on our experiences and behaviors. The mind over emotion approach isn't about suppressing your feelings. Instead, it's about training your brain to respond differently to triggers. When we consistently choose to respond with reason and logic, rather than raw emotion, we're actually creating new neural pathways. Over time, this can make it easier to stay calm and composed in triggering situations. Practical application of mind over emotion. Neurological strategies. Let's talk about some practical strategies for applying the mind over emotion approach and how each of these strategies affects your brain. Recognize patterns. By consciously identifying the narcissist's predictable behaviors, you're engaging your prefrontal cortex, the rational part of your brain. This helps to counteract the automatic emotional response from the amygdala. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation has been shown to increase the thickness of the prefrontal cortex and reduce activity in the amygdala. This can help you stay grounded in the present moment rather than getting caught up in emotional reactions. Use mental reminders. 
When you remind yourself of the narcissist's nature, you're activating your hippocampus, the part of your brain involved in memory. This can help override the immediate emotional response with learned knowledge. Employ the gray rock technique. By consciously modulating your response, you're engaging your anterior cingulate cortex, which plays a role in emotional regulation. This helps you maintain a neutral demeanor in the face of provocation. Practice emotional regulation. Techniques like deep breathing activate your parasympathetic nervous system, counteracting the stress response and helping you stay calm. The neuroscience of staying untriggered. When you successfully stay untriggered, some fascinating things happen in your brain. First, you're strengthening the connection between your prefrontal cortex and your amygdala. This improved communication helps your rational brain better control your emotional responses. Additionally, by consistently choosing not to engage in the narcissist's drama, you're actually reducing the dopamine release associated with these interactions. Over time, this can make these interactions less compelling and easier to disengage from. Moreover, staying calm in the face of provocation can increase levels of GABA in your brain. GABA is a neurotransmitter that helps reduce anxiety and promote a sense of calm. The more you practice staying untriggered, the more your brain becomes wired for calmness and resilience. Building Resilience The Long-Term Neurological Benefits As you continue to practice the mind-over-emotion approach, you're not just changing your responses in the moment, you're actually reshaping your brain. Studies have shown that consistent practice of emotional regulation techniques can lead to increased gray matter density in areas of the brain associated with self-awareness and emotional control. This means that over time, you're not just getting better at dealing with narcissists, you're becoming more emotionally resilient in all areas of your life. You're training your brain to respond to stress and provocation with calmness and clarity, rather than knee-jerk emotional reactions. Empowering your mind, transforming your life. As we wrap up, I want you to remember this. Your brain is incredibly powerful and adaptable. Every time you choose to respond with reason rather than reaction, you're rewiring your neural pathways and becoming stronger. The journey of staying untriggered by narcissists isn't just about coping with difficult people, it's about personal growth, emotional freedom, and cultivating inner peace. Remember, it's okay to have emotions. The goal isn't to become emotionless, but to choose when and how to express those emotions. By mastering the mind over emotion approach, you're not just protecting yourself from narcissistic manipulation, you're cultivating a sense of inner calm and self-assurance that can benefit every aspect of your life. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating exploration of the mind, emotions, and the intricate dance of human interaction. If you found this helpful, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on more content like this. Don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of resources on neuroscience, emotional regulation, and dealing with narcissistic behavior. Remember, you are strong, you are resilient, and you have the power to shape your own responses and experiences. Your brain is on your side. All you need to do is give it the right training. Until next time, take care of yourselves, beautiful souls. You've got this.